There is no one I would rather provision this map for than the corporate vice president of enterprise mobility and management from Microsoft back with us again this year, Brad Anderson. Just as a reminder of uh, what we announced last year, uh, last year when we got together, um, you had uh, reached out to us and knew that we had a whole lot of information uh, stored on the Mac and we were able to essentially gather that information and hand it off to you for something called uh, Microsoft Conditional Access for the Mac. Do you want to just describe that for a little bit? And let's go ahead and bring the contents of this Mac up on the screen. You'll see I'm just uh, going through the normal startup, and I'm going to start click through. Uh, Brad, while well, you just share with everybody what uh, Microsoft Conditional Access for the Mac is all about. So Conditional Access allows you to define the requirements that you have that defines for your organization what a trusted user is, what a trusted device is, and what a trusted app is. And then at the time when access is requested to company data, we can do a real-time determination if it meets your criteria. Is this a trusted user using a trusted device with a trusted app? And what Jam provides is just a rich set of an, in, um, capabilities in terms of the, the understanding they have of the Mac devices. So they feed us an inventory, a configuration set of data. Then we utilize that to increase our knowledge and therefore increase our ability to understand if it's a trusted device or not. Normally, this Mac would power up to the ability to set up an account, correct? Uh, well, it did. It just looks a little bit different. It powered up straight to the Azure AD credentials because of the feature that we have entered into 10.9 and because of Jamf Connect for Azure. So why don't we start with going okay. ahead and entering your credentials. And you'll notice that Brad has got a user ID that we already provided him. He's just providing his Azure AD credentials just as he would sign on with Azure anytime. In this particular case, let's go ahead and bring up the contents of the iPhone that's sitting there. And he's going to bring up the Microsoft Authenticator. And you'll notice this is something called passwordless login. He just needs to match the numbers from his Mac uh, to his um, uh, iPhone, and then of course Face Connect. We snuck into his room last night, got his Face ID. We can take the iPhone off the uh, screen now to get more of a screen with Mac. And then he just entered in the passcode that he wants to use to set up his Mac account. So this Mac account is now going to be set up with a nice clean name, uh, which is going to be the user ID for Azure AD, and then the password that he entered. When somebody's asking for access, it's a combination of their identity and their device that they're asking for requests from. And so we can bring that together and give you a much better holistic view of should that user device combination be allowed to access or do we need to guide them to take some steps to, to get compliant? Right. And over the last year, we've been working together with so the customer response uh, to Microsoft conditional access for the Mac has been so special in terms of wanting to embrace it. We've been working with companies like Accenture and True Manufacturing and Mutual of Omaha and Nestle and Juniper uh, to take that next step with the Mac and provide the same level of security that you find on the Windows devices, iOS, and uh, the Android devices through using Microsoft conditional access. Now I'm dying to take a look at the account that got created here. I'm just going to bring it up and go into users and groups. And you will see here that Brad was created as a standard user, not an admin, and he is locked. So if we were to go in and for Brad, say, want to make a network change, he is going to appropriately, but once again, prompted for his Azure AD credentials. But he's not an admin. He shouldn't be able to make these changes. Once again, we're going to use the uh, passwordless login where he'll be getting a code. Let's bring the uh, phone uh, back online here. Once again, need this to match that with the two-factor ability to do the face ID. However, we've got an error. That's supposed to happen, folks. It's supposed to error out because he doesn't have access. But fortunately, I do because I'm in IT. I'm an admin. So move. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see how this is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in as an admin. Now, I set up my sign-on with I wanted to be able to have a password. Now, I know, whoops, I know some of you out there, truthfully, have some bad habits around password protection for admins, and there's too many people that know what that password is, which is why I have two factors set up on my watch. You can't see this, but if I tap approve there, should be, if everything's smoking, we're going to be logged on automatically and you will see we are unlocked right down here. How important is Apple? How important is the Mac to Microsoft? 
Yeah, you know, we, as we think about the modern workplace, the modern workplace and our offering for that is what we call Microsoft 365. And it's all about how you empower users to be productive and to create and to achieve on the device of their choice. And so look at the, look at the work that we've done here, you know, with Apple, with Jam to enable that. So first of all, you've got great Office that runs on the Mac. It's a fantastic solution. Mm -hmm. With the integration work that we've done, you know, you can now do conditional access for your devices, for your identities. You know, as a part of Microsoft 365, you have the rise to be able to remote down Windows apps down to your Mac device if you need to. It's one comprehensive hero solution that truly does enable users to be productive on any device and by, on their device of choice. So that's why it's so important to us. Fantastic. Brad, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for being here. Appreciate it. You've okay. been a great sport. Thank you.